has entered the city. I've heard that. Have you heard anything from Draconis? Draconis has not yet quelled the rebellion. I is not going to be pleased with us. I should have done this myself. I'm late for that now, my friend. Do we have any saving graces? What's Hail yours? Pilot! Hail Pilot! Welcome! Welcome? You dare to say to me, welcome? I'm forced to make an all-night ride from Caesarea a week early before the Passover? Because the city's out of control? Caiaphas now in the Sanhedrin rules the city instead of me? And you say to me, welcome! I gave you two cohorts to keep order at the Passover this year. And with two cohorts of the most powerful army in the world, you cannot keep a bunch of religious fanatics because of one Jesus of Nazareth under control. Sir, we sent one cohort with Draconis to crush the rebellion. We kept one cohort here to protect Antonia. Rebellion? We're supposed to have engagements with our army with rebellions, but all this was an engagement? It was an embarrassment! My horse could have done a better job. I don't think you two understand the gravity of the situation here. Of the whole Roman Empire, we have 28 legions spread across the length of the empire. We have three in Britannia, five on the Rhine, nine spread the length of the Danube, 11 from Dacia to Arabia to Egypt, Carthage, and Spain. But here, in this mud pit sinkhole province called Judea, we have one legion, only one, and it stations a three days march in Syria. Well, what do you have to say for yourselves? Pilate, does it not appease your anger at all that we were able to apprehend the Nazarene? Appease my anger? I don't want the Nazarene, I want the rabbit! I'm sorry, Janus. I'm sorry. It's just that Caiaphas has his traps set again this year, as he did the previous years. You remember when I took the money from their temple treasury to pay for the aqueducts, to bring water to the city. They reported me to Tiberius. Two years after that, chance, I put emblems of his emperor in that temple. And again they reported me. And now, as the fates would have it, we have the most notable alias Sejanus Tribune of Rome that I just heard was promoted to head of the Praetorian Guard, to Caesar himself. To observe how this province is run. That perhaps my officers should be demoted to galley slaves! Janice, you were there with me on the stone pavement, the Gabbatha, when I interviewed the Nazarene four times! And every time, I found nothing wrong with him worthy of death. To satisfy that bloodthirsty mob who was crying for his crucifixion, I even gave him the fustigatio. Typical Roman procedure that we give to scoundrels and hooligans with a stern warning. I thought that would pacify them. But it did not. Even my wife Claudia had a dream or a premonition or whatever it is women have. I have nothing to do with that righteous man, for I've suffered much today in a dream because of you. Gentlemen, we all know women say the darndest things. But for once, Claudia made sense. slave these days in Jerusalem, a common slave, 30 pieces of silver, <laughs> Lentulus Gaius Suetonius, Tribune of Tribunes, Legate of Legates, Legionnaire of Legionnaires, Pilate's aid in my absence. Correct me if I'm wrong, but did I hear that this carpenter's son from Galilee, who feigns himself the son of God, was handed over to the members of the Sanhedrin by one of his own for the price of a common slave? Hmm? Yes. 
I must say, with as out of control as things seem to be, I couldn't have planned it better myself. Janice, I asked them, shall I crucify your king? The same ones who reported me twice said we had no king but Caesar. How does one govern such people? We have more trouble with this one Jewish god than we do with the thousands in Rome. So I told them, see to it yourselves. I wash my hands of the blood of this innocent man. And do you know what they said to me, Stephanus? His blood be on us. Gentlemen, we are faced with a decision that I fear the Empire hinges on our response. What if this Jesus is? Sentry, show these people what happens to those who defy the authority of Rome. On your feet! Recorder, compose a dispatch, sending it to His Eminence, the governor of Syria, alias Lamia, requesting that he send two cohorts of his legion stationed in Syria to Jerusalem to help restore order in the city. Send it by night, double guard, double cavalry. Send out the decoy first on the eastern road and send out the real message two paces and two hours later on the southern route. Is that understood? And please reassure him that his friend Pilate will not forget this gesture of kindness to his old friend.